fully floating axle is used in Tata Marco Polo DTC CNG low flow bus. This type of axle is also used in many heavy duty trucks. Fully floating axles are preferred in high torque, high load applications. Rear axle casing, or we can say axle housing. Axle housing, which directly connected to the suspension. Chassis. Sun gears and star gears of differential. Bearing hub, having tap a roller bearing pair. Lock ring, for securing the position of bearing. Stub axle, having spline connection with sun gear, and hub, therefore it transmit torque from sun gear, to hub, and finally to wheel. Cover plate, it also called dust plate. The drive wheel, which is carried on the outer end of the axle housing, by a pair of tapered roller bearing. The reaction load is transfer, through the bearing hub, to the axle casing, then to the suspension. In this way, the axle casing take the full weight of the vehicle, and absorb all bending stress. Stub axle, which transmit only torque, from differential sun gear, to the wheel or bearing hub. Therefore it undergoes only in torsion. Let's see for close look of bearing hub. The tapered roller bearing arrangements are designed to handle both radial and axial loads, caused by turning, skidding, and pulling. Stub axle is coupled with the bearing housing, with spline connection, so that both are free to move relatively in axial direction, and transmit torque to wheel, which bolted to the bearing hub. Therefore we can say that, in case of fully floating axle, stub axle shaft is only subjected to torsional load and shear force can be considered negligible, based on the fact that the bearing and axle casing, primarily carry the weight of the vehicle.